how to upload videos to YouTube from your laptop. In this video, we're going to show you the quick and easy step-by-step -step process to upload videos in the right way so you can get more views on your videos. Let's not waste another second and get right into it. On your YouTube homepage, head over to the top right. There'll be a video camera with the plus button inside of it. Click on this video camera and you'll see two options will pop up for you. One is upload video and the other is go live. We're going to upload a video from your laptop. Then I want you to either drag and drop the file or click on the gray upload button. Select your video file that you want to upload to YouTube. You should have this ready to upload. And before you start this upload process, I want you to make sure that you've named the file, your video file, the name that you want for your YouTube video. So this is gonna help in the optimization of your video. At the bottom of the upload screen, you'll see a progress bar on how your upload is going. It's gonna show you a percentage uploaded and it's gonna show you how much time is left of your upload. Then I want you to go and write a detailed description about your video. This is going to describe to your viewers as well as YouTube what your video is all about. Make sure you do include your title and the keywords that you want to rank your video for within the description. Don't keyword stuff your description, but make sure that you do mention them and mention other similar words or the intent of your searcher. So a lot of what we're gonna talk about is mobility, stretching, how to get more flexible for your trail running, and that's the kind of details and words that we're going to include in the description. Now we're gonna add a custom thumbnail to our YouTube video. This is probably one of the most important parts of the video, that you do use a custom thumbnail. We like to use a free tool called canva.com. We'll leave a link for you in the description below. They have really cool templates that you can use to create your YouTube thumbnails. Make it quick and easy to create eye-catching thumbnails that'll increase your click-through rate and get you more views on your YouTube videos. So have a look through these templates and see which ones suit your YouTube channel. Here's a nice one, morning motivation. We're gonna use this template for our mobility trail running videos. So some of the pictures on Canva, they make you pay for, as you can see with this watermark here. So we like to find free images. So have a search on your topic. We're gonna to use trail running and most of the images here, as you can see, they charge for them. So we're not gonna pay for a thumbnail, but there's another watermark so you can see. If you can't find any images within Canva, you can always head across to a free tool that we use, which is unsplash.com. You need to give credit to the photographers on unsplash.com if you do use any of their images, but they are really cool, free, high quality, high resolution images that you can use on unsplash.com. We use, this, we use this tool a lot for our YouTube channel. So have a look through the images, find what works for you and select an image and then let's head back to canva.com. The other option for you is to take your own images while you are creating your video. So we're gonna show you both options. We're gonna show you an image that we're going to pick here from unsplash.com. If you want something with stretching and mobility, here's a good example, but it's not exactly what we're looking for. It's not that relevant for our video. It's not the same kind of stretches that we're showing in the video. So let's have a look at something. These feet with the steps are quite a nice idea but not exactly 100% what we're looking for. What you can do is select images that are close to what you're looking for and Unsplash will then suggest similar images. So if you click on it, have a look and see what they suggest with that image. And then you can decide exactly what kind of photograph you're looking for or what will help you increase your click-through rate on your YouTube videos. Quite like this one with the color and the steps, nice and plain to get some text in there. 
but let's go back and have a look at mobility. Our video is about mobility and stretching, so let's see if there's something that we can use with mobility and running. This is quite a nice one, morning with the sunrise, I quite like that. That's eye-catching and it leaves space for us to put the text in for our thumbnail. So you can click on download free once you've chosen it and then let's head back to Canva and go down to uploads and you can upload the image that you've just chosen in our download folder there it is there and that image will upload we're also going to show you one of the images that we captured while we were recording the video we like to record stills with our recording of our video at the same time so we've taken a whole lot of images of the stretches and we can pick one that will stand out and make sure it is an eye-catching image and it works for the video that you've created your thumbnail is really important and it's going to affect your click-through rate on your videos so you want something that's going to be intriguing attractive and encourage people to click and watch your video so we quite like this one of leah stretching her toes and getting into the stretch nicely it's a new one that people won't really know so it'll get them excited to watch the video so here's our video our picture from unsplash.com have a look at that and then once the upload of the image that we've captured does get there we will have it on and be able to save our new thumbnail and you want to compare what you want to capture on your thumbnail and what is best for your video so change the text to match your video and what your video is all about so our video is for trail runners and it's focused on mobility so we're going to have that and there we go our image has finished uploading let's drop it in there that's quite nice we actually prefer that than the sunrise and then we can just move and drag and drop these little lightning bolts so that they spread out in the right place and there we go we have a nice thumbnail for our new upload for our video on our laptop so let's download the image in the top right and then head back over to youtube and we're going to upload this thumbnail on our new video upload and the thumbnail click on upload thumbnail and select the thumbnail that we've captured there we go and we have a new custom thumbnail now we need to add our video to playlists so our channel is new so we're going to add some new playlists and these playlists need to be videos that fit together and work together so that people will watch more videos on your youtube channel so we're just going to create three playlists so we're going to have trail running mobility mobility for trail runners and a third one now these need to be based around the grouping of your keywords and encouraging people to watch more videos so we're going to have one more trail running exercises will work because we are going to be creating more videos with exercises for trail runners so there are three you should have a minimum of three playlists on your uploads and then the next one is is it for kids yes it's made for kids or no it's not made for kids this is important with the new acts that have been released from the us and youtube tags are your next point of call so you need to add tags and the keywords that you want your video to target we're going to have mobility for trail runners as one of our main keywords and then obviously our title the five mobility exercises for trail runners trail running mobility exercises and you want to make sure that your keywords include the search intent of your viewer so what is the intention of a person searching for these kind of mobility exercises they're looking for a list of stretches that they can do to improve their trail running so we're making sure that we're covering all the kind of search queries that they would be typing in when looking for this video and then tools like vidiq and tubebuddy will give you suggestions on keywords so you can always get ideas so 
long distance and ultra running is really important so distance running mobility exercises they're going to help you with your distance and help you run faster and longer then let's add one last keyword to this video mobility for runners it's a bit broader and let's just add one more extra one mobility exercises for runners will work so that's covering a bigger audience and that's enough keywords for this video select the video language we're going to do english uh, american or united states next we can import the video location if you would like this on your video and you can also add a recording date so it's quite nice to have these so people can see when it was recorded and where it was recorded this also helps youtube know who to push the video out to and then category is quite important so choose the category that your video fits in this is going to go sports once you've completed all of the details on the first page we can click next in the bottom right now we can add an end screen and add cards to the video when your channel is new like ours you won't be able to add in screens because you have to add videos or playlists to it and we haven't created any other videos on our channel yet so you can see if we try and add most recent upload it's going to come back with an error you don't have any recent uploads best for viewer you don't have any recent uploads so you could choose a video or a playlist so you can have an end screen with someone else's video on it or once you've uploaded your second and third video then you can add an end screen to your video so this is really important to refer people to your next videos but for now we're going to have to leave this off so we're going to delete these two otherwise we can't save it because of that error the element is missing so click on the pen to edit and click on the trash button that will remove it and we can do that for the subscribe button as well and then we can head back to the YouTube studio to finish our video upload so the last thing that we need to do on visibility is decide whether we're going to publish now or we're going to have the video as unlisted or private so if it's public you're going to publish it now if it's private only you and people you choose can see the video if it's unlisted anyone can view it if you send them the link so click the blue button to publish the video but remember it's unlisted so it's not going to be visible yet for everyone you can check the visibility here is still unlisted if you want to go and publish it you can click on this pencil to edit and click on visibility and change it to public click on the blue done button and then click the blue save button well done you have uploaded a video to youtube using your laptop we hope you enjoyed this quick YouTube tutorial. If you have any questions or queries about building an audience on YouTube, let us know in the comment section down below and we'll create a video just for you to help you build and grow your audience online. If you want to learn more about YouTube and starting a business and making money online, have a look at the free YouTube masterclass. We'll leave a link in the description below. This will help you get started building your audience and starting to make money on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.